Hello, it is I, Rebel with Alter Cause, and today I'm going to show you uh, how to repair your gun. As you can see, in combat, this gun broke. So we are going to open up the gearbox and find out the problem. Let us begin. First, we will remove the rear stock. Go ahead and remove this part. Once this is off, then you want to go ahead and remove this. Once you have removed these, put them in a secure spot. Then you want to proceed to removing the screw, which is inside here. Let's take a look. You want to remove the screw inside there. Let us begin. Once you have unscrewed it, then you can simply remove the rear stock as so. Ta-da! The next step is to remove these two, these two pin body pins right here. To remove this pin, all you have to do is just apply pressure and it pops right out. But for this pin, you have to use an Allen wrench to unscrew this and then you can go ahead and proceed to pull it out. Once you have removed these screws, then you simply slide the upper receiver forward. Ta-da! Then we will proceed to removing the magazine catch. Once you have unscrewed this, make sure to get the spring and the catch and put them together so you do not lose them. What I like to do is I like to put the spring back on and I like to put this back together. You want to release the body pins and just do that by applying pressure to them. You can use something like this to remove the body pin. Ta-da! Next thing up is we have to remove the bottom uh, motor plate and we use uh, uh, Allen wrench for this one. Once you have removed these screws, if you are having a hard time removing the base plate, just tap it and it comes out. You want to remove the screws from the motor and then you want to pull out the motor. Once you have opened and taken out the motor, if you can see the silver screws in there, you have to remove those. Let us take those out. There are about four of them. Once you have removed the motor grip, Put it aside in a safe spot and then proceed to removing your gearbox. Then once you have the gearbox out, you want to go ahead and remove all these screws with your Allen wrench. There's approximately four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine uh, screws you have to screw. Once you have removed the screws, you want to insert a skinny screwdriver in the back and proceed with taking off the shell. Let us begin. Apply pressure on the cylinder and push the screw driver downwards. There you go. Let us look at the parts. Wow, that is a very beautiful gearbox. As you can see, this is first time it's been open. And what we're going to do is we are going to find out the problem. Okay, it looks like we have found the problem. If you look carefully here, you can see that um, the bevel gear is broken. All the pieces have broken and they are scattered all over. So that was the problem today. That's why Tony Montana from Team SPM was out of a gun because of this. What you can do is you can go to one of these stores like Evic or Airsoft Extreme or my personal favorite eBay, order yourself a bevel gear, reinsert it, grease everything up and then put it back together, reassemble everything and your gun will be working. Once your gearbox is clean, 
Apply lithium, white lithium grease on your spur gear and install. Test out to make sure the shims are good. And then install your anti-reversal latch. Apply some white lithium grease on that also. Don't forget the spring. There is a little spring that goes on there. Don't forget it or it won't work. Take your bevel gear, make sure you have the shims on it, apply white lithium grease and insert. Make sure your anti-reversal latch is pointed down when you install it. So you have these installed, what is that, a piston? use white lithium grease and apply on your spur gear. Once you have applied white lithium grease on the spur gear, on the bottom of the anti-reversal latch and apply some on the outside of the bevel gear. Insert your trigger and make sure the trigger spring is in there also. Once you have that installed, you can insert your sector gear. This is how your gear should look. Your sector gear should those that part right there should be pointing right there and your the layer clip should be pointing in the one o'clock position your trigger should be in with the spring and then let's proceed to reassembling the top end take some synthetic grease or silicone grease and apply some over here over there over there over there, over there, and right here. This will give your tappet plate and piston nice lubrication after the cycling. After this, locate your pist old piston and piston head and remove the rubber o-ring from your old piston head. Take the rubber o-ring and place over your cylinder as shown in the video. What our goal here is to stretch the o-ring so we will have better compression inside the cylinder once we replace the new piston and piston head. Take a flame and put the rubber o-ring over a flame so it memorizes the new, the new form of it. Do this a few times and then continue to the next part. Okay, as you can see, this piston is worn down and this piston head is pretty crappy so we are going to switch it out with the nice energy systema piston here and we are also going to dremel off one of the teeth in order to have better uh, angle of engagement let us begin the next part we will be removing the first tooth off of the systema piston to correct the angle of engagement. You can check out my other videos to see what the angle of engagement correction is. Once we have removed this tooth, we will uh, put a sorbo pad on the cylinder head and then reinstall. As you can see, the piston sits back a little bit further and it corrects the angle of engagement. As you can see here, with the sector gear properly engaging the piston. Now I have put the cylinder, the nozzle, nozzle, uh, the cylinder head, inside I have the piston, uh, the piston head and the rubber o-ring and now I'm going to insert this with the, with that one thing, you know, the spring guide and we will be ready to go. Okay, we have put everything back together, now we are going to move to the new bucking. This is the old bucking which was the standard one which has kind of like the regular mound you know looks like a speed bump inside and we are going to upgrade to the Firefly soft bucking. The difference between the Firefly and any other bucking as I can show you here if you look at the picture here it is like two little buck teeth that touch the BB. So we will install that and see how it goes. Go ahead and remove your hop-up unit with your inner barrel 
and then we are going to remove this black part take apart everything and then we will proceed to cleaning it and then installing the firefly bucking which will give us better accuracy let us go ahead and begin once you have removed your inner barrel take your jamming rod with a piece of paper towel and clean your inner barrel as such if you are having trouble use silicone oil and clean it using a circular motion as you can see it will be nice and polished so you will not have any jamming issues once you have done that reinstall your hop-up chamber and everything and put your bucking on here is the firefly bucking installed as you can see it is not like the mound it has like two teeth which give the BB a better accuracy please proceed to applying silicone spray which I've shown in here and that will prevent any jamming issues also once you have done all this reassemble everything follow the following the instructions backwards and you will have an awesome working gun in our particular case we use the high-speed motor please visit our Facebook page search South Bay mercenaries and like for upcoming events and more updates. Thank you.